guys, happy Thursday. Here's a little hinkle pinkle back here on the chair. Girls sleeping. Been a day. I've been itching up here and in the back here. Been itching like crazy. Feels like my head's crawling. And I took my magnifying glass and comb and a mirror and everything in my glasses. I couldn't see anything. Just you would think you'd see something if there was something there, but I couldn't find anything. But I bought some RID, R-I-D, uh, uh, lice shampoo, that's what it is, lice shampoo. And they put it on your head for 10 minutes, and then wash it out, and then you use your own shampoo. And it's supposed to kill if anything live, and then in 7 days you do it again, and you'll get anything that might hatch between now and then or something. And I gave the cat a flea bath, and he just thought I was killing him. I put him in the kitchen sink and lathered him up with flea, flea and chick shampoo. And then was rinsing him off, and he was having a fit. Took all my strength just to hold him there, poor fellow. He was not happy with me at all. And he was mad at me for a while. I had to take all the bedding off. Wash it in hot bleach water. Now, luckily, it was a nice day without drying, and and then I closed up my room and sp I had sprayed um, flea chicken lice spray. If you have dogs and cats, you can get this stuff from Hearts Mountain, I think. It's kind of expensive. So I sprayed the poop out of everything and closed the room up so that it could just sit there and then dissipate because I had the window open. The cat was not happy because he wanted to go in my room. So he's sitting outside my room, staring at me. I was like, you can't go in there yet. So I remade the bed and everything. So hopefully, I don't know. I feel itchy now. Maybe it's just a state of mind. I don't know. State, as in misery. I mean, Missouri. <laughs> anyway, this evening I went to a support group for people that deal with narcissists in their life. It was at a local library. Actually, it was 30 miles away. But, was it 30? Well, 30 minutes away. 26 miles. Close enough. And there were 12 of us that showed up. Surprisingly, a lot of people. One man and the rest of us were female from age 32 to 68. And we all had a chance to tell our stories. And for the most part, I'd say all of our stories had the same components. The same behaviors, the same things. Now, I'm not really sure where the group's going to go from here. Whether we're going to just give each other suggestions on how to cope with certain things or what. I don't know. They say you need to cut ties with all narcissistic people in your life. Just leave but I can't. There are a handful of us that just can't. We can't leave due to financial circumstances. Now there was a 32 year old girl that did. Three years ago her mom gave her some ludicrous ultimatum. Said well if you don't do what, you want, what I want you to do then you don't have a mother in your life. And she thought about it and she said it actually has gotten better. Her life is better. And she's improving and and all that. And I'm glad for her. A narcissistic person thinks mostly only of themselves. They downgrade you. They make fun of you. They tell you, you know, you'll never amount to anything. So basically you have no self-esteem and no self-worth when you're around a narcissist all the time. You end up doing things to make them look good. They don't care about you, and they don't care about your well-being at all. You're just an incidental pawn in their life. And, uh, that kind of thing, so. That's what I did today. Tomorrow, I'm not sure what I'll do. There's always something to do, for sure, for sure. And, uh, Saturday and Sunday is the International Festival down in Tower Grove Park. Which I will take you with me Saturday. Sunday I have to babysit mom again. But Saturday I will take you with me. 
they have music from other countries, and food from other countries, and dancing from other countries. It'll be a lot of fun. So that's it for now. Upward and onward. And through all, so good night.